Hello everyone, this story is called Mr. McGee and the Big Bag of Bread. It's written by Pamela Allen. Mr. McGee and the Big Bag of Bread. Mr. McGee stretched out in his bed. He gave a big yawn and then he said, I don't know what to do today. Shall I stay in bed or go out to play? I know what I'll do, he said. I'll visit the animals at the zoo. I'll pack some bread to take along too. Do not feed the animals, the notice board said. But Mr McGee had a big bag of bread. Eee! howled Mr McGee as something hit him suddenly. Do not feed the animals, the notice board said. But Mr. McGee had a big bag of bread. Eee! howled Mr. McGee as he tried to pull his finger free. Do not feed the animals, the notice board said. But Mr. McGee had a big bag of bread. Eee! howled Mr. McGee as he was hoisted up a tree. Do not feed the animals, the notice board said. But Mr. McGee had a big bag of bread. Eee! howled Mr. McGee, as into the water, splash, slid he. Now Mr. McGee had lost all his bread, and this crocodile had not been fed. howled Mr. McGee. And he scrambled into his tree. The crocodile glared at him hungrily. There's nothing to eat down here, it said. So it gobbled up the bed instead. Now poor Mr. McGee sleeps up in his tree and he tries to keep warm with his cat on his knee. Do not feed the animals, the notice board said. Oh, how he wishes he'd stayed in his bed. Have you been to a zoo to visit the animals? I wonder what other animals Mr. McGee could have fed at the zoo. Hmm, what might have happened if he'd fed a lion or a rhinoceros? Or maybe the hippopotamus. Have a think. Could you draw a picture of Mr. McGee feeding another animal? What might have happened if he had fed them? Can you draw a picture of it and show us? Have fun everyone.